What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Westland Survival. We're here at the night time now because it's, I don't know, I think it's probably about 2 o'clock in the morning in the game. Anyway, since the update came out, I've been doing a bit of grinding, a bit of work on the base. Nothing major, but we've got a nice loop all the way around. As you can see, I've moved my stable to here. What I would like to do is try and get all of this completely wrapped around. I've got nowhere near enough of the wires at the moment. And wires are surprisingly difficult to get. So what I eventually want to do is have my stable actually encased inside my base and my spawn post as well. So then the outside can just be walls all the way, no need for a door. And then I'll just block the outer edge of the walls with the, with the um, one of those called iron stakes and then the barbed wire. Because that way there's no weak spot. I don't have to leave a gap in the defences to get in and out because if I, for example, I'll have my spawn post here and my stable here, I can leave just by interacting with the horse and clicking ride. Like uh, this. Hang on one second. Let's use this map quickly. There we go. So, for example, if this was inside the base, I could just click ride and we're straight out onto the global map. So, pro base defense tips there. Oh, also everybody, I have, what was I going to say? My brain has completely died. Right, here we go, we've got the hideout location here. Now I've also just started a second channel, it's nothing at all game related, it's called Rats and Rabbits. It's because, as I'm sure quite a lot of you know, I have a lot of pets. Well, they're mainly for girlfriends, but I love them too, so I'm calling them mine as well. We have a lot of pets, and I video them quite often, and people get annoyed when I put videos of them onto this channel because they get notifications for it. So if you want to see videos of all my animals, it'll be a link pinned in the comment section below to the channel. Also, we've finally gotten the join button on the channel. It works like Twitch subs, so you can now officially become a member of the channel. It works like Twitch... Yeah, Twitch subbing. That's what I was going to say. Sorry, I need to try and focus here. Right, so... Ooh. Ah, damn. Smiling Jerome. Ooh, I have not got enough health for this. I think we might be alright. Oh, we are like two hits and dead. We have got 57 health. That is not enough health. There you go, let's use these up. And we'll equip that. Now what I can do is click join on all of them. Oh, you know what, I think we should probably head back to the base first, get our reward from the sheriff, and then start our next quest, which we have already got the map ready for, so we're going to be getting two, ba two lots of rewards in one go, which is pretty nice. So as I was saying, we have got the join button now on the channel. Works like Twitch subbing. It's four ninety nine a month, and at the moment, I believe what have I got it set up as? So currently, you'll get access to a super secret chat in Discord, and you'll also have priority to join me when I do viewer games on streams. So for example, when I played Pictionary a while ago, loads of people wanted to join, and if you are a channel member, which I believe is what it's called, you will have priority to join. And I currently have bunnies staring at me. Right, I cannot for the life of me remember what rewards we're going to be getting from the sheriff for this one. So let's go have a chat with him quickly. Hey sheriff. That's nice. Oh hang on. So we are at that much. Let's complete that. Goods were delivered to your storage. Nice, I'm going to take this out. That uh, didn't give us much XP, but it'll have to do. There we go, we've got our next bounty hunt set up as well. And we're nicely healed up too. Perfect. I am finding levelling up again really difficult since they increased the XP required. I've no idea why they made it cost quite so much XP, but oh well, it's not the end of the world. Also thinking I might want to head over to the Spirit Cave and have a run through there as well. Uh, coordinates of the bounty. There we go. Hopefully this is not the same location. Hopefully it has reset. What is that place? Looks like a bank. 
Trader house. Ooh, okay. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if it'll have a cooldown on it, so every time we go there, it'll start, for example, a 12-hour cooldown. Or 24 hours, probably, most likely. And we can go there again and get really good trades. That'd be cool. Like, full sets of armor. This is also something that I noticed earlier. So if you... Let's get past this animation quickly. If you look in the crafting screen at the armor here, so you've got armor cap, armor jacket, armor pants, armor boots, and then you've got the superior armor, superior armor, superior armor, improved. So, yeah, I think that's just a bug there, and they forgot to change that to superior as well. But either way, I thought that was a weird little thing that I noticed. Right, let's see who we're killing here. I'm guessing... Ooh, we got a bodyguard. Oh, I missed my warrior tomahawk where I can just smack him in one hit and instantly kill him. To be fair, I have still got it, but I'm trying to save them a little bit. Right. So many bodyguards here. Didn't realise how low my health was getting. Uh, let's take all of that from him. And let's grab some bits of armour. That'll do. Where is he? All his bodyguards are here. So I think it's actually possible that the zone hasn't reset. That or I've killed him without realising. Which I don't think I could have done. We're just going to have to do it in circuits up and down the length of the zone. Make sure we're not missing them. Let's go to the berries at the edge. Perfect. Yeah, look, that's the dead body there. Now, the question is, are we going to be able to get the rewards? Because it hasn't actually given us the person to kill. Find out this time on Westland Survival. We oh, okay. We have got the bandits coming to attack us in 6 hours and 20 minutes. That is news to me. Alright. Well, I will not be around for that because that will be happening at 6 o'clock in the morning. I will be asleep. Indians have rich, rich mythology. Surprisingly, many myths are not fiction. Ooh. Meaning there's lots of Indian boss things in the game. Which we know, because we've seen the Wendigo, the Disignophia thing that I cannot pronounce. Nah, so yeah, it's bugged out and it's not giving us the next one. And no bounties available, damn. Okay. Ah, uh, well, it's not the end of the box. I have got so much random junk in my inventory that I need to dispose of. Is it... Mm, I can't think of anywhere I can just throw it all. I suppose I could put it in here and just hope the um, bandits come and take it all, I guess. Right, and... You know, I don't really want any of that apart from the wheat. Ow. That does so much damage to you. 26. That's not a ton. Especially considering how high your health pool is now, actually. Uh, let's put them in there. Let's put them in there. Right, I'm going to grab some weapons quickly, grab a bit of armor, some food, some water, and then we're going to head over to the spirit cave. Welcome over to the spirit cave, people. Right, so I've... Oh, I didn't realize the ones out here actually reset on the cooldown. Huh. Fair enough. What are we getting from there? Micah's paintings and a spiked mace. You know what? I'll take it. Um, do we have any free slots for the mace? Not really. Really, no. Hmm. You know what? Oh, that's the paintings, not the mace. We'll leave behind that one since it's so low durability. Can we open this box? We can. Awesome. So I've only done the spirit cave a couple times and I haven't been all the way through because I have not got anywhere near enough weapons to be doing it. So 80, 91, 60, 100. Got to take that much better for us. Right, let's go into the cave. So I've been through a few times, I killed the, I think I killed 
maybe Wendingo in here, I can't remember. But definitely killed the Dissinogphia and the giant ugly monster thing. I'm terrible with the names in this. They are difficult to pronounce and I'm terrible with just remembering things like that in general. So for those that don't know, in here you get these common enemies called archery. They'll drop coins. Well, they'll drop Talabak tributes which look like coins. There are two other types of tributes you can also get and they correspond with unlocking resource, unlocking boxes for you. Not enough spirit. So this is where the spirit stack comes in handy. You've got to level up your spirit in order to interact with some of the terminals in here. However, as I have not yet upgraded my spirit enough, I do not know what they do. Sorry, I am not really the font of knowledge here. One thing I do know, the bandages definitely need to do more damage. Now, my armor is very low and terrible, so I'm taking a bit more damage than I should really be here. But... I'm not switching out to my full armor sets yet. I want to try and have all of it break at the same time. Alright, is this the main room up here? Ooh, uh, maybe. One thing annoys me. The, um, oh, I suppose they're not called archery. They're called ashery. Ashery. Which I'm assuming is... Um, oh, here we go. We've got our first ghost. So when you kill these ghosty people... Ah, I think we are both equipped with the same thing. Sometimes their essence, when it flies away, will heal you. What do we get from here? Ooh, we have got the idle head. Let's stick the first head on. Now, it's poss... Okay, so yeah, we have got them in, some in here already. So in there we've got the Glossgarb tribute, which is five bones. We've got one of Wanikia one tribute in there. And in here we've got one of the 40 coins. So we need to put all of them in, in order to open up the boxes. You can pass. Door is blocked. And I think... Door is blocked as well. Okay. So last time I came in, I went that way. Yeah, you can see my mouse. Yeah, I went through that route. Oh, and we got to interact with it, of course. But I think once we get into here, we're going to possibly switch over to the full arm. Actually, I think we're going to fight uh, fight a couple of the Acheries. Acheries. I know it's going to annoy people if I call them Archery, but I also can't call them Acherie. Enemies. There we go. The weird bird-like creatures. There we go. The door is just rolled shut behind us. So, I have never been in this route before. There we go. Ooh, and we are fighting a ghost with our fists. I'm sure that will not come back to bite us. Ah, damn. Okay, so we didn't get healed from that one, unfortunately. Right, let's just get ourselves a set of leather armor. We don't want the superior. That's a bit overkill. Let's get leather hat. Leather jacket. That should be all of our inventory space. And, yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. Getting a little bit thirsty. Yeah, let's get another knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. Yeah, not enough spirit. So I really need to start investing some points into the spirit stat. Ah, here we go. Alright, we've got quite a few enemies in it. The Acheries. I can't tell what they are. They are weird creatures. Now, one thing I've noticed that I'm sure this will be um, not news to a lot of people. You only really get the reward items. So the things to unlock the terminals when you kill the, the um, bigger enemies in here. You'll see what I mean by the bigger enemies probably in a minute. So that's mainly the bosses and the slightly harder to kill things. Uh, leather boots and some jeans. I really need to get back on my leather production. Right, now what way do we go? I'm gonna follow the road that isn't yet locked just because it feels like that should be the correct route. Ooh, hello. We've got... Okay, two ghosts here. And my game froze up and would not let me attack. Uh, I really need to start pumping a bit into... I think probably the attack speed. That is a skill. Yeah, attack speed is a skill. And there we go. Shot me with our little zip gun. Ooh, that is a destroyed corpse right there. Bandages. Let's just use them up straight away. So I'm not sure if this is a harder 
haven't it feels like it because we've run into the ghosts a lot sooner uh, hello so yeah they can take him out in two shots that only did 87 to him let's punch this guy to death die ghost so disappointing that not all of the ghosts heal you Ooh. I guess we probably take the rings Let's go for. Where did my. Did I leave it in there? No. Okay. Wait, where does this route go? Okay, that's just a side route that we could have taken earlier. Alright. So, yeah, the doors and everything do reset when the zone resets as well. So, it is literally just like the bunker in Lost Enough. So it's got a 48 hour cooldown on it. Oh, we're fighting so many ghosts at once here. Last time I was here, I went through, I'm guessing what was the easy location. And dead. And yeah, I made it through, I think I just got to the end of it without dying. But it was stressful. Heal me. Ah. Yeah, I really need some better weapons. I definitely think the loot here could do with being adjusted a little bit. Because, for my experience, it doesn't feel like the loot that you get at the moment is worth the resources it takes. I might be wrong. I haven't yet opened up any of the actual boxes yet. I've just been going by what people have said to me. Uh, yeah, looted them already. Alright, so there was absolutely no purpose to that little side corridor. Onwards we go. Ah, let's go straight through here. Ooh, there's a lot of things to loot in there. Ah, nice. So this stick, whatever it is, does extra damage to ghosts. Possibly. That or it just has high damage. See, so yeah, it's already broken one of our leather shirts there. So it did that so quickly. The armor just gets absolutely minced up in here. There we go, we've got some bones. So I think the best armor tier that you're going to be wanting to go through here with is going to be the reinforced leather stuff. Because the armor takes a lot to make. But to be fair, that's not the cheapest in the game. It's not that bad to be fair, actually, looking at it. I've genuinely never crafted a set of armor. It just takes a lot of the dense texture, which I'm having a bit of trouble getting a high amount of at the moment. Let's see how far we can get in here before we completely run out of resources and die. Which I'm hoping will not happen. There we go. Our fancy pointy stick is broken already. Now, anything in this room? Nope, that was just a trap room with no enemies in. Didn't lead anywhere. I am really good. At finding the wrong course in the tunnels. I do love the way this is designed though. All the different side routes and everything. Like an actual cave, nice and confusing. Right, I'm gonna say this one doesn't go anywhere. I'd love to get an actual map of these caves because it is so complicated. Hey, some more bone stick things. Now I think we only get the ones that we needed four of from killing the main boss at the end of each route. Which also drops the head to unlock the next set of tunnels. Oh, okay. Hello, Achari. What is that tune? Oh, that's um. If you want, do you want to know? Yeah, it's cool. Yes, do you want to know? You know what? I'm uh, now. I'm gonna save the set of superior armor for when we fight one of the bosses because I think I will regret not having it. Well, that's a chess piece. Didn't realize that. And I think yeah, that should be good for meds for now. Ooh, 
Hello. What's this we got down here? Let's see what we're getting in here. I genuinely have no idea what will be in this. I'm guessing, hopefully... No. No, I don't want to close the game. Hello, ghosty. Oh, here we go. Oh, alright. There we go. That's a disignofo... Yeah. Let's, um... Okay, we're doing 100 damage per hit to him there. Yeah, so be careful. Don't go into that section over there so I don't have to aggro the other things. Oh, this is so much easier killing him with guns. Last time I was here, I did not have any guns with me. Did he not drop me any loot? He didn't, the cheeky sod. Ah, oh, but that was it. We've got the, the um, special box up here. Let's um, grab those bits. So we've got this lovely special box here, which looks different. It takes a lot longer to open as well. Am I still recording? I hope I am. I'll be a little bit annoyed if I'm not. And we should get some nice things in here. There we go. So we've got a beaver tail knife. We've got some chew chips paintings. Paintings of bees used by Indian shaman for spirit rituals. Not sure why that's trousers there, if it's just paintings of bees. Let's use them up. And we've got, usually worn by Indian shaman for spirit rituals, hardly an armor. Defense 5, but adds spirit to us. Now, we didn't get anything amazing in those. I don't think I want to go that way. Oh, you know what? Let's put on... Uh, yeah, definitely better defense for that. No, it's like a confederate save. I don't want to waste one of them. Let's go back to one of these. Just a pointy zip gun, basically. What you got for us? Hey! More coins, more bones. Excellent. Okay, that's going to break. Punch, 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 punch. Whew. And we just got some more of them. Right. So it's kind of looking like those ones, they've just got a special icon. There is absolutely nothing special about the loot from them. Which is a tad disappointing. Give this one one last go, see if there's anything good in there at all. No. No, there is not. Okay. Um, Ronald, are you alright? Not sure what he is doing. Right. So, we got the special boxes there. We got a door next to it. Let's go this way. Let's use our nice hammer. Ooh, they attack quite fast. Oh, that was two of them there, to be fair. No, it is not worth in using that against them. Yeah. So, I was actually going to bring a load more bayonet knives with me. And then decided against it in the last second. I thought, nah, there's no point. I'm not going to get through that many of them. Having literally done this a couple of days ago. And knowing how many resources it takes. Oh, here we go. Wendingo. How do you do? It's um, Confederate Sabre you. Okay. That Wendingo's got 2,000 HP. Stop it! You mean creature. I don't even know what you are. But you don't seem to have any flesh connecting your body together. And it's weird, and you're creepy, and I would like it if you would just die, please. Okay, so yeah, Wendigo is the main boss for this section of the dungeon. Let's get more meds equipped. Let's back up a little bit. And let's get Confederate Sabre, smash her in the face a bit, and dead dingo. Right, we have gotten the Wanika tribute, and the next head, there we go, that was what we needed to unlock the room. And we've also got two of the special boxes here, and a normal one. But I think this might be the end of this room. Ooh, okay. So we've got another one of those sticks. Hmm. Now, I'm not actually sure 
what items here are useful. Defense 5, Spirit 5, Enchant 1, Defense... See, I don't know anything about the enchanting stuff in this game. Absolutely nothing. Right. I know I don't need rings. I've got a lot of rings. Okay. Uh, that can go on my head. That's cleared up a bit of space. That bandage can be used, and I'll take that wolf fang. Um, okay, this isn't going to be the main loot. Can we please get some new... Ooh, okay, we've got another one of them. Ooh, what are we dying of? Dying of thirst, okay. I was prepared for that. Now we've got some more of the bones. Uh, let's take a machete. Take the bandages in space. With a cloth. And you know what? We can even equip that. Perfect. Right now, Choo Chip's Feather and Makaya's Painting. Is that the same one? That is. Let's replace that. And is that what we're wearing at the moment? Yes, it is. Perfect. Look at me being all efficient. I'm going to take a quick run round the cavern and then just... Oh, that alarm means that it is 35 minutes past midnight. Okay, we've got a couple of these sacks. I'm guessing it's... Oh, a little bit of fish. Some leather belts. Might come back for them. I'm assuming I can come back for them. We got... Yeah, we got about half a level just running this one room in here. That's pretty good. Here we got one more down here. And I'm hoping I'll be able to find the way out. Otherwise, I'll be trapped here. Until I just close the game to escape. Yeah, it looks like that's the way out there. Are there any doors or anything up here? Nah. Okay, so that is that room of the dungeon, of the spirit cave, sorry, not the dungeon, completed. Also considering checking out Grim Soul, because I'm getting a lot of comments telling me to go and play Grim Soul. Right, so, in, ugh, tribute required. So you want another one of those. So we now got two out of the five for that. Uh, you take those, ten out of fifty, that's going to take me a long time to do. And that's... 2 out of 40, so that's also going to take a while. Gladly reward a worthy warrior if I get my tribute. Worthy warrior if tribute. Worthy warrior if tribute. Okie dokie. Right. We've stuck another head on there. Now I think that is... Hmm. Now I've been that way before. That's in green. Oh, blue I guess. Both in blue. That one's open. Alright, I'm going to walk away from here. Is that one now locked? That is. Okay. Right, I'm also going to end off the video. I could have chosen a better time than when I was going onto a loading screen for that. But I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you've all enjoyed. And I'm probably just going to try and clear out this floor in my own time. Goodbye, everybody.